King of the Road. Thanks again for watching the King of the Road Show. I'm Jim King, reminding you once again about the launching of our contest page at the all-new JimKingOfTheRoad.com. Log on soon and click on the contest page to register for a certificate good for a year's membership to World Jim Beaumont, my favorite place to work out, or an autographed copy of Hulagu's Web, The Presidential Pursuit of Senator Catherine LaForge. It's a thrilling novel written by talented Lumberton, Texas-based author David J. Hearn. Now join me as we wrap up this week's King of the Road show with a new installment of King of the Road's Best Clips. Jim King of the Road. It's the King of the Road show, and you're watching King of the Road's Best Clips. Mark Nessler, man. Hey. Welcome back to Beaumont. It's good to be here. It's uh, Buna's best here. <laughs> Songwriter uh, Mark Nestler, actually, you're, you're quite an entertainer yourself, too. I've seen you live before, and uh, you, you could have had a career just like uh, Tracy Bird or Mark Chestnut doing that, but you chose to be uh, to concentrate on songwriting, didn't you? Yeah, uh, songwriting was my first love. You know, I mean, I enjoyed performing, but I was fascinated with songwriting from the age of 10. You know, and that's what I wanted to do. Uh, and for many years, I had to go out and play clubs and, and perform to, to pay the bills. But mm -hmm. when the writing started bringing in a decent income, I, I started putting more energy toward that. What started that songwriting? Well, my dad, he wrote songs, and okay. that inspired me. But I, I remember one day I was listening to a Buck Owens record, and... Mm -hmm. uh, Suddenly, I just got it. It was like, you know, somebody's got to write these songs. Yeah. And the name of the song was Tall Dark Stranger. And so I immediately picked up my guitar and started trying to write a song, you know, myself that was original. And it ended up sounding a lot like the Buck Owens songs. Uh, yeah. But it, it was, a, you know, it was a good attempt. I uh, met with Billy Currington one day and... Tony Martin and we sat down and we were going to write us a song, but we didn't know what we were going to write about. And then suddenly Tony Martin says, have you ever noticed how it seems the, the one thing that a woman loves about you the most in the beginning is the thing she hates about you later? Of course, Billy and I, we just laugh, you know, it's like, yeah, man, we totally get it. And it's true, you know, I mean, if you're funny, you know, she thinks that's really cool. And then later on, she's like, you know, is everything a joke to you? Me, I play guitar. Most of the girls I dated found it kind of romantic at first. And then later on, it was like, is that all you want to do is play that guitar? <laughs> and they just started trying to kill this thing, you know? It's like they wanted to get rid of it. It was the enemy. And um, it was the, the demise of many relationships. But anyway, I'm going to do you a song that... Uh, that we wrote together, Billy, Tony, and I, and uh, it was inspired by that conversation. It's called Why, 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 it goes like this. I've been your lover, I've been your friend, I've been your faithful one, one man. I've been your diamond, in a rug. Now you say you want to polish me up. Why, why, why do you want to change me now? Ain't I the one you loved everything about? You might start missing the old me around. So why, why, why do you want to change me now? must have found pretty early that you had a knack for it because you've, you've written a ton of songs. In fact, uh, George Strait's cut a couple of your songs and went to number one. Yes, he has. You yeah. know, uh, that was a very special moment in my life. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of his. And I think now, you know, when he goes in the studio, it's every writer's dream, you know, to sure. get a George Strait cut. It's like getting yeah. a nod from the king, you know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that, that was awesome. Originally from Buna, um, how often do you make it back to this area? Not very often. Uh, I was here last year and uh, we did an in the round and mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun. I hadn't been back since.